Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is all about communities. C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-I-E-S. Now the first community that we're going to speak about is a rural community. So right about here I'm going to draw a wavy line down. I'm going to write the word R-U-R. A L. Rural. That means that we have basically a farm community or places out in the open. So I'm going to put a dot right here. I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left. Come back to the dot. Curve line down to the right. Come back to the left. Draw a straight line across. Come back to the left again. Draw me one two straight lines. Come on the right hand side. One, two straight lines. And right here in the center, straight line, straight line, straight line. And now we're going to cross it. Straight diagonal, straight diagonal. I come right up to the center of this section and I draw a curve line, straight line. And on the left hand side I'm going to draw a straight line down straight line across and I'm going to put an arrow on either side and I'm just going to draw curve line, curve line, a little bird at the top. Now in a rural community there's farms. This is a barn and now we're going to draw the field. So I draw a wavy wavy line, jump over, wavy wavy line and I'm just going to leave it floating. Wavy wavy line, jump over, Wavy, wavy line, leave it floating. Wavy, wavy line, jump over. Wavy, wavy line, and leave it floating. Now, because we're growing crops or vegetables or some kind of grain, I'm just going to put little straight lines on top of my wavy line so that it looks like it's the fields. Okay? Now I come over and I'm going to draw the sun. So I draw a circle, happy face, triangles all the way around. And it's shining, so I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five little straight lines. Now underneath my sign that says rural, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line up. On the right hand side I draw a straight line out, straight line down, curve line in, connect. Left side straight line out, straight line down, curve line up, connect. Come to the bottom, draw a curve line over, one, two little straight lines, one, two little straight dots, I put a wibble wobble wavy line in the center, some curved lines across the top. There's my cow. Now I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line on the left, slightly curved line on the right, jump over rural and draw me a wavy line across and another wavy line behind. Straight curved line, straight curved line, maybe put a little line right there. And these are going to be my apple trees. I put a little baby circle, straight line up, straight line up, straight line up, little baby circle, straight line up, straight line up. On the very right hand side, if you have room, you can draw a little piggy face. Circle, circle, dot, 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 curve line out, curve line. That's my little piggy. Okay, not too many people live in the rural community, so my happy face, one, two, represents the population. There's not a lot of people that still live out on the farm. Not like in the old days. Alright, our next community is suburban. I, cut suburban. I come down a little bit space and I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy line up. 
and off the page. I come down below, draw a wavy, wavy line up, off the page. Okay. Now I come in and I draw straight lines, straight lines, straight line, connect. Straight lines, straight lines, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to draw triangle, straight line up, straight line down, triangle, straight line up, straight line down, little triangle, straight line up, straight line down. You can put straight line, straight line, straight line, little chimney, straight line, straight line. Here's my door, straight line, straight line, and dot. Straight line, straight line, and dot. Straight line, straight line, and dot. Okay. If you have room, you can add what we call a popcorn tree. Curve line, curve line, straight line, connect. Popcorn tree, see how that looks like a popcorn? Curve line, curve line, straight line, straight line, connect. One more little popcorn over here, straight line, straight line, connect. Now, it's sunny over here too, so we're going to just draw the sun again. Circle, circle, triangles, happy face, and it is shining, so we put our little straight lines going across. Now, in the suburban community, I'm going to see if I can put a happy face in each one of my houses on the triangle part, and that represents a little more people live in the suburb in suburbia than they do in the rural communities. I'm going to come down and draw a dotted line all the way across because that represents our streets. So I'm going to add another happy face. That means there's more people living in the suburbs than there are living on the farms. Okay. And I'm going to write suburban. I'm going to put it on the street. S-U-B-U-R-B-A-N. Suburban. And now we're ready for the very bottom part. And this is urban. U-R-B-A-N. And these are our cities. So I'm first going to do a curve line up, curve line down, up down, up, down, off the page. I'm going to draw a straight line all the way across, jump over, all the way across. Now I'm going to put a little mimic triangle inside. Triangle, triangle, and then I'm going to put one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. I fill in my triangles with some straight lines, straight lines, straight lines. This is my bridge. Now I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect, straight line over, straight line down, connect. These can be as many sizes as you want. Straight line, straight line down, connect, and straight line, straight line. Straight line, straight line down, connect. Inside I'm going to make little squares because each one of these, I'll put a happy face because these are, this is a more populated area, a more populated community. I'm going to put little boxes and another happy face because there's way more people. Two, three little happy faces here. There's way more people that live in the city, and that is an urban community. So try and draw all these boxes, and every once in a while put a happy face, because that represents the population in an urban community. And those are your big cities like New York, Los Angeles, all of those places, Chicago. So every once in a while just stop and put happy faces because that represents more of a population. Okay, so we've got rural, which is out here in the country, farmland, suburban, which is like neighborhood, and then urban, 
which is our cities. And that's why they have the most happy faces, because that's where most people have the highest population. Okay? Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, when you do a drawing like this, it has a lot of different parts. You want a unifying color, so I'm going to use my turquoise blue as my background color for my rural, my suburban, and my urban background. So my blue-green is going to be the color that I'm going to use so that everything looks cohesive all put together. Okay? Now the rest of it, you can color any way you want, but the one thing I am going to do is I'm going to color all these happy faces yellow. Because I want to make sure that I don't forget that the number of happy faces there are denotes the number of people that live in each one of these communities. The most is in the urban, the least is in the rural, and the one in between neighborhood is our suburban. Now the rest of this you can color pretty much any way you want. I used orange for my sons just to differentiate them from my happy faces. Down here at the bottom is a bridge. This is a bridge. So I used a light black or gray for that. I did all different colors for my buildings. All of these were different. You can use any colors that you want. Just try to make sure that you don't go too crazy. Like the barn up here is usually red, so I'm going to make it a standard color. Okay? You can do your crops. These are all your fields. These are green. Color in your trees, all your little popcorn trees down here. You get the idea. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my communities all colored in, rural, suburban, and urban. I would draw everything on day one, and then on day two, session two, I would color just because there's a lot going on here and you don't want to get tired. Okay, bye-bye.